This time, we'll do a mole conversion that requires three steps. We're asked to calculate the total number of hydrogen atoms in a 350 gram sample of pure liquid acetic acid, CH3COOH. At this point, we can make the problem slightly easier by simplifying the formula for acetic acid. The formula has a total of two carbon atoms, so we write C2. And it has a total of four hydrogen atoms, so we write H4 and two oxygen atoms, so we write O2. So a simplified formula for acetic acid, CH3COOH, is C2H4O2. We'll use this formula from now on in the video. We can use a diagram like this for most simple mole conversion problems. It shows how to find a pathway from one quantity to another. We're given the grams of acetic acid, and we're asked to find the number of hydrogen atoms in the given mass of acetic acid. In the first step, we convert grams to moles. In the second step, we convert moles to molecules. And in the third step, we calculate the total number of hydrogen atoms. So we create a plan for the three steps and write it down here. Grams to moles to molecules to H atoms. In step one, we convert grams of C2H4O2 into moles of C2H4O2. We start by writing 350.0 grams of C2H4O2 here. We write a conversion factor to change grams of acetic acid to moles. We need to cancel the unit grams of C2H4O2, so we write it on the bottom of the conversion factor here. The unit we want is moles of acetic acid, so we write that on top. We write a 1 by the mole and the molar mass of acetic acid by the grams. To find the molar mass for acetic acid, we take 2 times 12, the atomic mass of carbon, plus 4 times 1 for hydrogen, plus 2 times 16 for oxygen, which adds up to a total of 60.0 grams per mole. So we write 60.0 here by the grams. In step 2, we convert moles of acetic acid into molecules, so we set up another conversion factor. The unit we need to cancel this time is the moles, so we write it here on the bottom, and the unit we want is molecules so we write that here on the top. We write a 1 by the mole, and the number of molecules in one mole of any substance is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, so we write that here by the molecules. In step 3, we need to convert molecules of C2H4O2 to H atoms. We continue the expression on the next line, since the video is only so wide. So here we write the conversion factor necessary to convert molecules of C2H4O2 into H atoms. We'll need to cancel the unit molecules, so we write it on the bottom here. Remember, this is a continuation of the expression on the line above. The unit we want this time is H atoms, so we write that here on top. This time you write a 1 by the molecule, as a conversion factor will give the number of H atoms in one molecule. To find the number of H atoms per molecule of acetic acid, look at the subscript 4 in the formula. It simply means there are four H atoms in one molecule of C2H4O2. So we can now use this as a conversion factor in step 3, and add the 4 in here. We now have all the conversion factors we need for all three steps, so we can start cancelling units. We cancel the grams of C2H4O2, the moles of C2H4O2, and the molecules of C2H4O2. And the only unit we're left with is H atoms which is the unit we want for the answer. So the correct unit for the answer will be H atoms, which we can write down here. So we take 350.0, divide by 60, multiply by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and multiply by 4. And the answer is 1.40 times 10 to the 25th. So the final answer to the problem is that in a 350 gram sample of pure acetic acid, there are 1.4 times 10 to the 25th H atoms.